What's going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Divin, and I found an article by Barron's. They said 401ks aren't helping Americans save enough for retirement. These researchers found four major shortcomings. I find this very, very disturbing, and this is one of the reasons why I invested in dividend stocks, and I'm treating dividend stocks as a retirement pension on top of my 401k. So this is kind of crazy. This is what they're saying. The rise of 401ks over the past 40 years as a pension replacement hasn't helped Americans save enough for retirement, thanks primarily to the relative immaturity of the system and lack of app access or participation of many workers. I can't even talk right now. So, so Boston College Center for Recruitment Research, Andrew Briggs and blah, blah, blah. There are four reasons for the 401k shortcomings. The system's youth, I guess the plan has been around only since the 1980s. The lack of universal coverage, so-called leakage when participants withdraw funds early in fees. So the authors point out that most workers have 401k balances at retirement are well below their potential. They provide an example, let's just say a 25 year old median earner in 81, if he or she contributed regularly, would have accumulated right around 364k by 60. And in reality, they found the typical 60 year old with a 401k has less than $100,000. Less than $100,000, this is crazy, okay? This is, I don't know about you, but, you know, I, um, I'm i kind of dis disturbed at that. So the news at all isn't bad, however, blah, 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 blah. So the immaturity of the system they're discussing, okay, that's an issue. Oh, this is crazy. Availability, leakage, okay. So people cashing out when they change jobs, 10% uh, uh, penalty if they have a hardship or withdrawals in fees. I mean, fees are about 48 to 59%. That's kind of, to me, that's kind of um, disturbing. Uh, I One of the reasons I invest in dividend stocks, especially monthly or quarterly, are to have supplemental income and have income that can pay for utilities and such. My uh, parents have a retirement pension on top of their 401k, but those pensions are gone with their employers. So that is kind of disturbing. I mean, they're saying it right here on Barron's. Here's an article where they're discussing problems in the system of the 401k. And this is why I made this channel was because we need to have, or millennials need to have multiple sources of income and not just a 401k. Uh, you know, you can have a social security, that's great, but in reality, you should have multiple sources of income to be financially secure, whether it's real estate, whether it's uh, rates, whether it's, um, you know, dividend stocks, even bonds. I know bonds usually aren't growth stocks, but these are things that really we need to, as a generation, understand with money and invest better with money. And we cannot just sit here and expect our 401ks to do that. Most of us don't make six figures. More, most of us don't make more than um, you know eighty thousand dollars. I make around sixty. I'm a registered nurse, but in reality, you have to you have to really understand and realize that you you can't just have one source of income when you retire or when you're around. Uh, hold on one second, I'm gonna check something, see if there's anything on. Um, see if anybody else is commenting, nope. Okay, I see somebody on here. 
Where am I in RN? Well, I uh, will, I'm in, um, let's just say Northeast Ohio. And um, that's kind of where I uh, reside. I'm not going to say my employer and I'm drinking a tall boy. I'm not working. I don't have to work tomorrow, but um, that's where I work. And um, it's, it's really crazy that people don't put money in their 401k, which is kind of disturbing to me. And it's kind of scary that uh, people really don't even put that much money. What are you in uh, school for? Nothing wrong with that, taking a year off. You can save up on some money and um, go from there. I think business is a, a very good return investment for uh, a career. A lot of people, uh, you know, they'll go into these uh, schmuck degrees and stuff, but business is a very good return investment. And uh, I think you're making the right choice. Uh, you don't have to tell me what college you're at or what college you're in, but um, – you know, what do you, uh, where do you, um, do you go to a private or a public school? Okay. So are you, um, how old are you? You know, might I ask, you know, because this is a channel that's mostly focused on, uh, dividend stocks and discussing dividend stocks. I was just wondering. So you're about 20. So, um, yeah, I made a post on Reddit. I, I think there's very um, smart people on there. Honestly, I, I know some people are a little on the edge on uh, reddit.com, but uh, I'm really, uh, I'll be honest with you, I think there's a lot of sharp people in that forum. But um, are you invested in dividend stocks? Okay, growth stocks, nice. So uh, I'm invested in growth stocks. I'm invested in real estate investment trust. I have money in uh, Fundrise, which is kind of like a real estate. Uh, they have e-funds and uh, private rates. And uh, I'm on Rich Uncles. I invested in their BRICS rate. But I think you are, um, for 20 years old, just to understand growth stocks, I think you're way ahead of the game compared to most kids, they're more focused on uh, drinking White Claws and partying. So I have to uh, applaud you. I think you're very, um, I can already tell you're very, uh, have like the go-getter and grind mentality that people should have in their early 20s. And I have to give you a bunch of credit for that. Yeah, it's um, you'd be surprised at how many people are um, in the United States don't understand how to invest in four hundred one k's, and even my millennial generation. It's uh, I'm thirty four. I know everybody thinks I'm younger, and I kind of act younger uh, with my personality. But people are not very um, smart when it comes to school. You know, they get, uh, this is actually my second career. I, I did a post-bachelor accelerated nursing program. I paid about 4000 in cash. It was for an associate's. 
and pay forty thousand, you know, pay excuse me, four thousand, make about fifty thousand. It was a really good return investment. So, um, looks like you know about some uh, growth stocks. Now, do you have a four hundred one k or do you? Or, I'm sorry, not four hundred one k. Do you have a, a IRA or a Roth IRA or or what are you uh, invested in? Okay. Well, I think that's a smart move and taking a year off, you can put some money in there and it sounds like you uh, are working too. And with business, I mean, there's so many things you can do. You can get jobs in banks. You can get, um, you know, business background. You, you can't go wrong with that. My buddy is during the recession that graduated at like Ohio state. I'm from the Ohio area. And uh, everybody had jobs with business degrees in the recession. So I have to give you a ton of credit for um, what you do and stuff. And my, um, to graduate with my BSN, I had to uh, unfortunately uh, retake stats because I took stats of uh, exercise science. That was my first degree and it didn't count for stats. I retook it, got an A, but um, you know, mathematics and analytics, it sounds like uh, you got to, you're ready to roll. I'm actually, uh, probably, I sold one exchange traded fund. I'll probably get back into it. It's an MJ stock. It has a lot of those marijuana stocks. I'm pretty sure in Canada, like Hexo and a few other things. How have the marijuana stocks like done in your area? Are they doing all right? Or, you know, it just seems like it's uh, because of the vaping and stuff. They kind of got a little bit of a hit. So I'm already getting, uh, I, I just looked at my post on Reddit and I'm already getting uh, some heat mail. So I find that uh, kind of funny. I don't, I don't know. I just made one uh, post and, you know, people are like coming after me. This is pretty funny. Well, I mean, I'm just on here to discuss stocks. I mean, I would love to learn about new stocks that are out there or, you know, tell people, hey, these are my stocks that I'm on. Uh, I just think it's hilarious. But, you know, when you're on social media, you're going to get shit. So, you know, I don't care. What, what was uh, one of the posts that this guy said? He says, oh, this is what a Redditor on our investing looks and talks like. That, I think that's hilarious. There's this programming guy, and then V. Putin, or you can learn to read. Oh, okay. That's kind of funny. I mean, you know, people online are... Um, Oh, well, I mean, you if you have an account, you know, if you're going pretty well or you're doing pretty well, um, people are going to be. <laughs> I 
And people are uh, people are on the edge. I made a um, comment on the, the nursing forum, and people started to a uh, little snippy and stuff. And you know, all I did was just help them prepare for boards. You know, I didn't charge anyone anything or or do that. It was it was kind of funny. That's. Mm. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, those people on the investing, you know, people say to Aston Sears or some posts that people make, I just shake my head. I mean, Sears holding corporation is an absolute joke. And I've read on social media that people are investing in them and thinking that uh, something's going to happen. And uh, I just laugh. Well, I mean, people can hide under usernames. I mean, it's just, that's how people are. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, that's why I'm on here, you know, make basically posting videos or educating people on dividend stocks. I mean, I can sit here and just, I don't have to dress real fancy or anything or throw on my sport coat or anything like that and just discuss stocks. So I, I really can't complain. So how do you feel about the uh, stock market? I mean, it's going crazy right now. Do you think we're going to hit a, get a a uh, a dip a little bit? Do you have a lot of money saved in the bank? Cuz I banks aren't really uh impressive if you ask me i don't really get a lot out of my bank so that's why i threw it in dividend stocks instead Somebody just made a comment. Stage 84 of Rampage is Pelolia. Just a misspelled mention of Peroria, Illinois. That's great. Yeah, you know, that's... Um, I was going to make a video and discuss that, you know, just to have uh, like $2,000 saved just to go in for the kill when the stocks take a big hit. I think that's a, uh, that's a really good opportunity. I mean, you can throw your cash in a money market and get, I don't know, 2% monthly or something from that, or, you know, total, but at least, you know, you can get some stuff uh, to accumulate and just go in for the kill. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, you have a you have a really good strategy. I like that. Most people are not very uh, patient, and that's the issue that hurts them with um, 
being investors, we're just very, uh, you know, um, gun crazy and stuff. And they just go rapid fire, like gunslinging and stuff. Yeah, that's one of my strategies I have. I have about 2000 just in case, ready to go. And I mean, throw money in like Vanguard VOO or Microsoft or something. So that's kind of what I plan on um, doing is, uh, I mean, $2,000 won't hurt, but that's that's a very good strategy. I mean, you can you can throw them in bonds and just uh, let the dividends reinvest and just sell them this boom if you really want to. Do you, um, have you ever looked at like M1 Finance or uh, Charles Schwab where you can kind of have your own portfolio and have like a pie chart and uh, – okay. Yeah, I mean bonds. They're, I don't know. I'm, I'm too young to start throwing mon money in bonds and just let them reinvest. I mean, there are some good ones like Vanguard, BND, BND, but um, I'm not really going to look in that one. Maybe in my like mid 40s, I'll start throwing money in bonds, stocks. After I have my dividend uh, portfolio all set. Yeah, I mean, 34, uh, I think what I'm going to do is once I hit 40, I'll probably do more ETFs. And then once I hit about 45, I'll start doing ETFs and bonds. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to put money in like maybe one bond ETF and go from there. I mean, it really – wouldn't bother me at all. I think those guys were coming after me with those comments because I was trying to read and like look at the screen at the same time with Barron's. That's probably why I'm getting a bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean, bonds you don't get a lot, but it's, it's a very safe and conservative approach to, to make money. Uh, it, it's going to be there regardless. And uh, bonds usually don't grow. I mean, sure, they will give off a decent dividend, but uh, you're not going to get, uh, you know, rich off of uh, bonds. I mean, if you have a lot of money and you're worth millions, sure.
Yeah, I could see that. Um, Oh, that was your comment. That's pretty, that was actually pretty good. I got it. That was you that says, uh, when investing and it looks and talks like that's pretty funny. Or maybe I'm just reading that wrong, but, uh, that would be pretty funny if you did that. I, I got to give you credit for that. Just currently. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's good to diversify. I really don't believe in this 60-40 uh, rule with stocks and bonds. I think that's kind of crazy. I think you should, uh, if you just do dividend stocks and you have a 401k and everything on the side, uh, I, I think it's better that you have, um, I don't know, maybe 80-20 making really good money. That maybe the 20 would be if your dividend stocks are taking a hit in recession, you have about 20% of your bonds to at least make some money. But even if your dividend stocks take a hit, you're still going to make money because it's passive income. So I kind of, you know, think that's uh, a good gig. Well, I'm reading this uh, programming guy's comments. You know, I just looked at his profile. Man, is he uh, full of hot air. So I, there's uh, some people love investing in Ford, uh, Will, and uh, I, I don't understand why people would even invest in Ford. It's almost like it's its own bond. I was in my Facebook group. I'm like reading people are mostly, uh, you know, saying how uh, Ford is a great stock and somebody just uh, trolled them and uh, said, yeah, you only got like a 3% bond pretty much for that. So I thought that was pretty funny. I mean, Ford stock, oh, I don't know how anybody would invest in those guys. Yeah. I mean, what, what is the price per share? I'm going to look right now. Ford is $8 and 90 cents. You can get more, uh, getting like uh it's almost like getting a McDonald's uh, value meal <laughs> 6.74 dividend meal I mean it's not even growing I mean <laughs> not even close to twenty dollars I, I have no idea Toyota's 142 dollars and 85 cents Honda's 2874 oh, I can Honda's not too bad. Audi's uh, 804 euros. It's crazy. Eight dollars ninety cents a share. Can you believe that? You know, if those guys had their shit straight and they actually did stuff, I mean, they they would be probably fifty, sixty, seventy dollars a share, in less than a year. But Ford is such a mess. I, I just don't understand what's going on with those guys.
I'm going to look up price per share with those guys. Hmm. Volkswagen's uh, 1958 a share. That's not too bad. Electric vehicles are could be the way to go, but how are we going to do with the uh, the energy and everything? So you got to compete against the gas companies. It's going to take time with that. So Sears, listen to this. It probably could. I mean, I, you know, you, I believe it. I mean, that's that's probably the way to go. I mean, Tesla's pretty much electric and stuff, and I got picked up in an Uber ride uh, after the Ohio State Michigan game, and that dude flew in that car and showed. Showed that bad boy off. That hit 80 miles per hour in like, I can't even tell you how many seconds. So imagine if you invested in Sears in 2006. It was $143 a share in 2006. And now it's down to 23 cents a share. Does that not make your balls go up to your stomach or what? Whew, that's brutal. Um, no, uh, they just, uh, what happened right around 2006 is, uh, they merged with Kmart and, uh, they were real high up there and they just tanked. I mean, this is their, uh, legitimate, uh, price per share and they just went down the tubes. I'm pretty sure. Now I'm just reading articles in Motley Fool. Sears is closing half of its stores. Ouch. Ouch. Here's another stock that I put money in. <laughs> you know what's crazy is all these uh, Toys R Us stores and uh, Sears stores that close, uh, Planet Fitness just takes over their warehouse, their buildings. So Planet Fitness like just will completely take over everything it uh dividend stocks uh wendy's it's a fast food restaurant wendy's has done very well recently and uh they're just growing so that's one thing that you might want to look into at the moment that's a very hot stock right now But um, I have to get going. It's very nice meeting you. Uh, I hope um, everything goes well with school. And 
you know, it seems like you have your head on straight, which most people don't have in their twenties. So just keep on doing what you got to do. Uh, you know, keep on kicking some ass, keep on grinding. And, uh, you're probably going to make a lot more money than me in the future with investing. So, you know, your goal should be to make passive income and to just make more money. You know, you could probably be a millionaire by 50 with your mentality easily before 50. So, uh, again, you know, feel free to check out this channel. Um, you know, I'm open to everyone and suggestions. There's probably some things I don't even know. And, um, you know, that's, that's about it. So I got to call a night. I got a few things I got to do, but, um, looks like, uh, Reddit suspended me for like a few weeks or something. So, all right, man, take care.